Chapman built his first car for fun. It was an Austin 7 Special. No one knows why, but he called it a Lotus. Since the 50s, Lotus has been producing lightweight cars designed to thrill, from the classic 60s Elan to Formula One. 23 Speed Aces are on the grid at Brands Hatch to start the European Grand Prix. Lotus has been specialising in affordable sports cars, offering two, three or even 400 horsepower. But now, with new investors, its first foray into electric is as eye-wateringly expensive as it is powerful. And no one has seen anything like it. This car is the first all British electric hypercar. It will be the most powerful production car in existence when it goes into production next year. It's a huge statement of intent, announcing that Lotus is back. So we have four 500 PS motors to deliver 2,000 PS in total. That's German for 1,973 horsepower. To do that in this packaging, we've had to take existing technology and radically improve upon it. What our engineers and designers have achieved is something that looks beautiful, but have done it as a form through function. Every part of that design has a use. These are the first pictures of the Avaya in action on a test track. While it's still being tinkered with, it's in camouflage paint. But the new poster child for Lotus isn't just a pretty picture. The Avaya will have some truly astonishing abilities under the hood. So there's no gears. So there's a single speed epipsychic box, which means we have completely linear acceleration from zero to over uh, 225 miles an hour. Uh, what that does do is, is it gives us unbelievable acceleration so we can go you know, from not to 300 kilometers per hour in, less, in significantly less than nine seconds. The lower seating position is afforded by placing the 600 kilograms of batteries in a pyramid formation behind the driver's seat, like a mid-mounted engine. The electronic stability program improves safety by analyzing grip yaw and lateral steering and then adapting power to each wheel individually. So they're all independent, they're actually not connected mechanically, uh, but we have a, a huge amount of intelligent uh, electrical hardware and software that is constantly communicating with all four motors. So we can actually tighten the corner radius uh, by torque vectoring the left as opposed to the right or vice versa. So, so much like um, you know, a, a tank, you know, where you can rotate your, your left hand tracks and you're going forward and your right hand tracks going back. We have that ability to do the left going forward and the, uh, the right going back to shorten the corner radius. Those batteries are special too. After recharging a thousand times with mixed driving modes, performance dropped just 10%. And in this car, with a, a conventional 350 kilowatt charger, you can go to 80% in 12 minutes and 100% in about 16 minutes. But we're working with partners to develop ultra-fast chargers, which means we could charge this same car, you know, in less than nine minutes, up to um, 100% and about six minutes to 80%. That would be truly world class. That's all very well, Dan, I hear you say, but where do I put my luggage? Well. How about a carbon suitcase that you fit just here inside the driver's door? There's also one on the passenger side, so you're not fighting for space. The downforce on this car can be increased fourfold, with the rear wing and undercarriage adapting according to conditions. With this configuration, we allow the car to absorb the airflow, to breathe the airflow through, in particular through these corners and it then rolls over this surface and into this duct and as you can see the, the trajectory of this duct is it's rising upwards towards the back of the car. That all helps to create the negative camber on the whole body of the That's car. That's the downforce. Which generates downforce like a wing. Hello. <laughs> the air runs through here and more importantly it goes over this surface here which is sort of like some gills on the 
outside of this duct. What do they do? So it basically creates a suction to suck all the horrible stagnated air in the front, in the rear wheelhouse there, out the back of the car. Okay. So again, reducing lift, creating downforce. At £2.2 .2 million each, just 130 Evias will be made starting next year. But the tech behind them will be around for a long time to come. So everything on this car, um, you will see hints of it in future Lotuses, in more affordable cars, more affordable sports cars. Um, the, how we apply it in this car is very unique for the conditions of the car, but it's in, it will, it will uh, cascade down uh, to future Lotus sports cars.